Hello, hello. We are back again for another mini me. I'm on a roll. I'm doing a bunch of these today and I love it. All right. Today we are with Becky. Becky's got a question for me. Uh, fire one ready, girlfriend. Okay. I have been working with a group of investors, just a small group of us for the last couple of years. And we are trying to acquire a company and start something. We'll kind of restart something we all did about 20 years ago together. Uh, and we think we can do something new with it. We've really okay. struggled. Um, everybody else is investing money. I don't have that. So I'm investing time and energy and doing all the legwork. Yeah. We've been doing this for about four years now. And I have reached the end of my, um, well, my peer. I can't walk any further on this thing. I feel like it's, I'm either going to fall in the ocean or we're going to fly. And I, I don't know which, um, not that it's really going to make a huge difference, but I'm just wondering if you see this actually coming to fruition and happening, like I think it's going to, we're working on a really positive path, but then in the back of the mind, I think, oh, it's all going to fall apart and you're going to end up retiring early and you're done and over and put it all away. So I'm guessing there's other paths other than those two, kind of the extreme. Maybe, you know, maybe. <laughs> maybe another path. Maybe another know. path than packing it in, you know, goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm going over the ship. That's it. But I just was wondering, um, is it time to give up? Is it time to do something else? Just shake it off. It's, Becky, I'm sorry. It's time to do something else. I know that uh -huh. I had looked in on this before and it had such uh -huh. um, <laughs> promise and it should have come together. And for whatever reason, it, it hit a, a hitch and it won't get unhitched. There's a feeling of it wasn't up to you to take it past that hitching point. It was up to someone else and they didn't pull Correct. through. Okay. Correct. They didn't, they didn't move it. So you're at a stall. And um, I personally, if this were my energy and I was looking at the options um, that I know that you are, if I was standing in your energy and I was like, okay, well, it's time to shit or get off the pot. I'd get off the pot and go. Uh, now here's the thing though. Um, this experience will definitely help you in your career choices in the future. Okay. Um, okay. So the next thing you do, this experience really propels you forward for those. So this wasn't a total loss. I know it would have been fantastic if it all worked out. It would have been just like oh, easy street, right? Uh, and I want that for you. I really want that for you. But that doesn't look like what is coming out of this partnership. I feel like it just hit that brick wall and it was someone else's job to knock that down and they didn't do it so you're powerless to move it forward any more than it has and do you think uh, that it's like do you get a feeling that there's intentional no intentional blocking or it's just someone's not able for whatever reason but they're not intentionally saying i'm going to sabotage this thing no 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 no, no. i don't think okay. there's any malfeasance or malice okay. involved at all okay. i just think that um Someone didn't feel good about it. Someone who had initially felt good about it didn't feel good about it as it went along. And they got, uh, for me, they got cold feet and they pulled back when they should have moved forward, which is a shame because they could have made a ton of money. As you know, yeah. they could have. Yeah. So um, someone just became very risk averse at, at, you know, in the hour that they needed not to be. Um, okay. But this experience moving forward um, propels you forward. It's something that you can speak to that gave you sort of a niche experience that allows you to kind of catapult over other applicants, okay, who might be trying to decide, um, you know, trying to get in uh, in a certain position. So if you are looking for another thing to do, a job, um, or even a consulting gig, which is kind of what it feels like, you'll end up doing kind of a consulting gig. Um, okay. This pushes you forward in a really great way, truly. So it wasn't a total it's been loss. It's been the most fun I've ever had. It's my favorite job I've ever had, but I haven't made a dime, but I have learned so much and I've really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I really didn't want to think that I had, I was going to retire early. And, and I know it's hard to get a job when, you know, you get it to a certain age. Um, but it feels like there's got to be something else. Out there. You're still working. So I feel better. From what I can tell, you are going to continue to work. Okay. okay. So it's not, That's good. Um, Thank yeah, you. you know, sit around and eat bonbons all day time yet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a feeling that you're going to continue to work for another couple of years at least because you want to. Okay. okay? Yeah. 
Um, so could you retire tomorrow and, and be happy? You could retire tomorrow, but I don't know that you could be happy because you need a purpose, I, Becky. I don't and, feel like I'm done. Yeah. You know, um, so my sense is that you're going to find it and love it. Truly love it. Okay. So Great. use this experience and all the knowledge that you gain from it um, to propel yourself forward rather than trying to propel this team forward. So it becomes okay. more about you and your experience than it does about team effort. Okay. Got it. You're going to be okay. Thanks. It's going to be good. Okay. Okay. All Thank right, you honey. very much. You're so welcome. You take care. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye-bye.